back doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures, basic JavaScript course on challenge 105 of 113. So today we are going to generate random fractions with JavaScript. Um, this is basically just going to have us use math.random to generate a random decimal. When you use math.random, it returns a random decimal between 0 and 1. Uh, apparently inclusive of zero. So apparently it can be zero, but it cannot be one. I thought it could be neither of them exactly. It would always be just a decimal, but that's interesting. I guess it has to be a, uh, anyways. When we use math.random, it returns decimal between zero and one, right? So you could multiply that to make that a whole number and then round it to make it a whole number. But uh, this just wants us to return a random fraction um, instead of returning zero. So, yeah, so I th this should be pretty simple. We can just say something like let rand equal math.random. Math always has to be capital M, it is a built in. And then random is also a built in, and it's a function. So give it the function. And then instead of returning zero, we can just return rand. And that's all I wanted. Interesting. Okay, so if we console log rand here, you can see it's always going to give you a decimal under one, but apparently inclusive of zero. And if we run this, as you can see, it gives you random decimals. If you multiply these uh, and round them, you could obviously use this to get whole numbers. Um, but yeah, I guess this just wanted to teach us about math.random. Definitely a useful built-in. Uh, random behavior is definitely something that you'll use when creating a lot of different projects. So yeah, hope that helped. Hope to see you guys in the next challenge.